brings you here today? I would rather be in Washington, but since I'm here, I had to come. Okay. And so what is your objective for coming to this? I marched in Washington in the 70s and in the 80s, and I'm still marching uh -huh. for women's rights. Okay, and... For, except, especially ERA. It's very important to me. Uh -huh. So you're a traditional marcher. Long gaps of time in between, but uh -huh. yes. But haven't changed your positions? Have not. Stronger than ever. Hi, what brings you here today? What brings... Oh! Um, I think it's really important that we support uh, women and men and people of justice and honor all over the world. And we stand up for human rights and we stand up for our Mexican friends. And we oppose the wall and we say, enough. Uh, it's time to be civil and inclusive. What brings you here today? What brings me here is obvious. No. <laughs> it's not obvious? Repudiate Trumpism is what it says in English. So what is Trumpism? You don't know what Trumpism is? No. It's the first step in the United States toward fascism that we've had ever. And it's well, very did you listen to his speech? What? Did I you did. It was terrible. Yeah. And he said, give the power back to the people? That's pure rhetoric. Do you think he's really going to do that? His cabinet is entirely made up of billionaires and, and generals. You think you're going to get that back? What's the first thing he did? Did away with, he's trying to do away with a health care system that gave health care to 18 million people. It's just the beginning, and it's going to be very bad. Do you remember Dick Cheney? He's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> but like Cheney, I mean, like Bush, who had his evil person behind him, which was Cheney. Then we have Bannon, who wrote that speech he gave yesterday. Sir, what brings you here today? A chance to demonstrate my fears and my continuing struggle against neo-fascism. Uh, so it looks like things are moving ahead here. But well, that's uh, good. Yep. the neo-fascism, how does yep. that come about? Well, that's the thing I worry about the most. Well, did, did you listen to the speech yesterday? Uh, no, actually I did not. Yeah, he but, said we're giving power back to the people. Well, I know. That's what they all say. But <laughs> which people? So, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, this Do you fear Social Security is going to be endangered? I'm a Canadian, but uh, it affects everybody. Uh huh. So. What affects everybody? Well, the uh, loss of. Uh, the attack on rights in the United States. Where do you see that? Where do I see that? Well, I think that um, just uh, already in uh, the last day there have been a lot of things, uh, issues removed from the White House website. They're not issues anymore. The protection of rights is not an issue. So, the march happened, right? It did. So, what do you think this will affect? Well, we have a Canadian over here, and we have a North of Boston over here. Uh -huh. And um, it's Latinos over there. Yeah, yeah. So, it's, it's good for everybody. It makes people feel good, you know, that they're doing something. And will it bring about change? It could. You know, it's worldwide. So, I mean, you can't ignore worldwide. You know? uh -huh. yeah. So, it's a statement right there. It's better than doing nothing. Right. Okay. So, we're up for it. Yeah. Well, your sign is in solidarity with Mexican people, right? Yes. And to prevent deportations? Yes. A lot, a lot of Mexican people are coming back to Mexico, right? 
Well, that's volunteer. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't have any. <laughs> do you really think, do you really think that uh, large amounts of people will be deported? I, I have my doubts. In, the, you know, the government engines don't work that fast or easily. <laughs> right. That's keeping my fingers crossed. Well, it's also a very difficult task to find people. Well, not to mention the fact that the entire agriculture industry says no. <laughs> and that means the people who eat the food need to say no, you know? Right. And plus the people who have gardeners and oh, servants and, and roofers and, and, and you know all, all kinds that. of businesses that are so basically it's not going to happen right? i don't think it's going to happen so what brings you here today well no, we are very no, disturbed no. by the election of donald trump in our country and we want to stand in solidarity with all those who have been kind of left behind and left out and the pink hats are the pink hats are our pussy hats <laughs> and what does that symbolize well, it symbolizes solidarity with women who have been sort of trashed by Trump uh, throughout the campaign and uh -huh. we hope that maybe we'll bring some awareness to women's rights. Well, if he's impeached, Pence will be the well, president. Well, be pretty bad for us, too. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. So, this is the end of the march? Yes. It started at Santa Domingo uh -huh. Church and came all the way down the street and finished But here. now it's finished. Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm not sure if there'll be speeches or other things, but... Uh, so what, good what do you think it accomplished? Well, it's happening all over the world. Uh, more than three million, I've heard. Maybe uh -huh. probably more, because this was a, a much bigger crowd than we thought. Uh -huh. Probably about five or six hundred people. Yeah, and the result there from that is what? Uh, an effective protest. <laughs> and and you add the ending. We don't know the ending, right? <laughs> Correct. So are you a U.S. citizen? Uh, yes, sir. Uh -huh. From where? Uh, Michigan. Okay. Well, My Michigan is one of the, the key states, right? Well, it was. That put Trump into office, right? And he's pledging to try to fix stuff there, right? Well, yes. And do you think that will happen? Uh, well, he's going to change a lot of things. I'm not sure fixing or uh, well, bring is, bring uh, back a lot of uh, the auto business. Correct verbiage, but uh, a lot of what's been going on obviously has been built over the last eight years. And he doesn't undo a lot of uh, you mean the effective yes, things that were done. The Auto industry li moving to Mexico and things like that? Oh, that's not going to change. Uh, yeah, that's economics. And uh, if you can help uh, the underlying economics to support uh, more jobs in America, uh, I'll be it. You but, think uh, so? Well, I don't know. That's <laughs> what we're waiting to see. We'll give him a chance. <laughs>